Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in World of Warcraft with the new expansion, The War Wedding. We're going to start by optimizing Windows and after that we're going to look at the NVIDIA parameter and we will go inside of the game at the end. So now for Windows, we're going to start by writing settings and we're going to go to the settings of Windows 11. We're going to start by gaming over there. So the first one is game bar. This one I really recommend to disactivate it. It's causing issue and also you're losing some FPS with it. Except if you have a Ryzen uh, CPU, the 7900X3D or the 7950X3D, they're using uh, the game bar uh, to prioritize your CCD when you're playing video games. So super important to use that if you have those processors. If you have any other processor, just disactivate it. After that, we're going to go to graphic. We're going to change default graphic setting over there. Make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. Super important to do that. We're going to go to gaming again. Capture, capture. Make sure that everything is deactivated like this. So uh, you want to save all your resources. And the last one is game mode. Now game mode honestly is really, really good. Back then with Windows 10, it was a bit sketchy and a lot of like stuttering issue. But now you really need to using it uh, to make sure that all your resources are pri prioritizing your video games. Another thing that I recommend, we're going to go to system is your power uh back then uh, we were recommending to use the best performance but now honestly just use balance you will have better boost clock longer boost clock uh, i did a couple of benchmark balance versus per best performance and honestly i'm getting better result with balance so super important to do that Another thing I want to mention is some recommendations. So make sure that your uh, XMP profile is activated if you have it on your BIOS, super important. Make sure that you download the latest uh, chipset driver for your CPU if you have an AMD or Intel. Also make sure that you update your BIOS to make sure that you have all the latest update from your uh, CPU or your uh, uh, motherboard provider. Make sure that you have your Windows update up to date. And the last one is also make sure that you have the latest driver from your GPU. So if you have an NVIDIA card, Radeon or Intel, super important. They always push new update and they optimize a lot of stuff in it. So now let's go to the NVIDIA app. The first thing that I want to recommend, uh, I'm not a huge fan, honestly, of the um overlay so nvidia overlay i really recommend to disactivate this one sometimes it's causing issue like stuttering you're losing some fps with it so i really recommend to disactivate it also we're gonna go to the control panel i'm gonna show you some optimization that you can do so we're gonna go to the manage 3d setting first so the first thing that you should definitely activate it is your low latency mode make sure this one is at on Another thing that I recommend is your power management mode. This one, pretty much the same thing than the, the, the one from Windows. Make sure that you're using normal. Don't use the maximum performance. I'm getting also better boost clock, more FPS with it. And the last one is your shader cache size. By default, your cache will be a driver default like this. And normally it's 4 gig. Uh, I recommend to start with 10 if you don't have a lot of space on, on your computer. And if you have a lot of space, go with 100 gig. Honestly, it's a game changer for your cache size. Uh, you're going to struggle less with stuttering and also that your game need to recompile and stuff like that. If you install a lot of game, uh, this one can be very good for you. Now let's go to change resolution. The last one, really important to make sure that first of all, that you're selecting the uh, monitor, uh, that uh, first of all, you're using the native resolution of your monitor and also super important to have a proper refresh rate over there. Uh, by default, sometimes when you just change your monitor, it will be at 60 Hertz. Uh, so depending on the type of monitor that you buy, 144, 240, make sure that you're selecting this one. This option also you can change it on Windows or your Radian driver if you have a Radian car. So no problem with that. The last one is your G-Sync. If you want to activate your G-Sync, really important to select the monitor. It needs to be compatible and you will enable over there. Uh, I'm not using G-Sync me. I always unlock my FPS because I want the lowest input lag. But if you don't like those steering line, definitely activate your G-Sync over there. So now let's go back to the game. So now the in-game uh, graphic settings. So first of all, I recommend to disactivate your camera shake. Too much noise when you're playing the game. Also for network, make sure that you're using the optimized 
network speed. So now let's go to the graphics setting. First of all, make sure that you're playing full screen, super important. In window, you're gonna lose some FPS, add some input lag, so super important to go with full screen. Resolution, make sure that you're playing native depending on your monitor. In my case, it's 1440p. Uh, also for the render scale, if you want to use the super resolution from AMD, the Fidelity FX, you will need to lower a little bit your render scale at like 98%. It will do the job. Uh, after that vertical sync, I recommend to disactivate it. It will add uh, more input lag. Also, you can use other technology like G-Sync and Free Sync to make sure that you don't have those steering line when you're playing. Low latency mode, if you have the NVIDIA Reflex, definitely using it. Anti-aliasing, question of preference. I know a lot of people don't use it. Uh, if you want to use it, I recommend to go Advanced FXAA and use the i1. Gonna lose like 3%, but honestly, it looks okay and you will not, the, the game doesn't look blurry. So that's why I recommend this one. And the color uh, 2x and depth 2x. For the camera FOV, question of preference, honestly, you're gonna lose FPS if you, uh, you increase it. And I'm gonna tell you which parameter that will provide you the most of your FPS. And it really depends on your goal. Do you need like an high FPS because you have a high refresh rate screen or you're playing on a very old computer and you're trying to optimize. So you will have to make some decision. But for each bracket of five, normally you're gonna save 1% FPS. So question for if preference over there. Me normally, I play at 80 to 90 depending on what i'm currently doing for shadow quality uh, you have a couple of options over there so if you compare ultra high to low you can expect a nice 20 percent boost at low so this one definitely low liquid detail go with low you're gonna increase six percent your fps particle density this one don't disable it uh, it will uh it's it's kind of indie when you're playing the game so i recommend to go with fair for this one you're gonna save a lot of fps and stabilize your fps a lot with it Ambient Inclusion, I recommend to disable. Uh, the game looks flat, but honestly, you're going to save 8% over there. Depth Effect, 4%. Computer, uh, compute Effects, sorry, uh, another 3% over there. So those ones just disable. Outline Mode, I recommend to go with Good. Texture Resolution, really depend on your VRAM. If you have 4 gig and more of VRAM, go with I and 16x over there if you have 2 gig go with fair and select something like 4x and uh if you're uh, are playing on like uh, 1 gig of your ram on your gpu go with low and trilinear over there spell density this one also is kind of important so i recommend to go with some and uh you're gonna stabilize a lot your fps with this one so super important and project texture don't use disable make sure that you're using enable after that you have three different slider over there view distance i like to play at four this one tank a lot your fps it's like three percent for each bracket so depending if you're uh, you have a lot of fps and you want a big view distance go higher four is a good spot to go and environment detail and ground clutter i recommend to go with two you're gonna stabilize a lot your fps with those settings Triple buffering, I recommend to uncheck. You don't want to add any input lag. Texture filtering, we talk about it. Ray trace shadow, make sure that this one is disabled. You're going to tank your FPS like crazy. And the occlusion type, I recommend to go Fidelity X uh, Cacao. And the uh, resample quality, again, I recommend to use the, the Super Resolution 1.0. VRS mode, I recommend to go with disable with this one. Graphic API, they remove the DirectX 11 legacy. Honestly, if you have like a 1000 series or more recent from NVIDIA, go with 12. Uh, for AMD, something like RX 480. Uh, if it's older than that, definitely test 11 and do some testing. You have two different parameters that you can test. First of all, uh, do you have more FPS? And after that, are they more constant also? So super important to look at this. Uh, physic interaction, I recommend to go with player only. Graphic card, I recommend to select your graphic card, honestly. I saw a lot of uh, people with like a laptop with an integrated GPU and a dedicated GPU. And uh, the game was like using the integrated GPU. So select your GPU over there and you're going to make sure that you don't have any issue. Target FPS, I just unlocked it to have the lowest input lag possible. But honestly, if you have... Thermal issue with your CPU, GPU, lock your FPS. Uh, so, for example, if you're playing at 144 Hz on your monitor, just lock your FPS at 144. So, again, look at your thermal. Use MSI Afterburner or other software in the market. 
Resample sharpness. This one is question of preference. It, to adjust the strength of fidelity effects, I recommend to go start at 0.5. Look at it. If it's too sharp, go lower. And if it, you, you feel that everything is blurry, go higher. Contrast, brightness, and gamma. Those ones are default setting. I'm not touching it. Compatibility setting. This section is new. Uh, I recommend to check everything except the first one. If you have like a very old GPU, uh, it will help a little bit with your FPS. But honestly, those uh, settings will improve your FPS. So I recommend to check everything. So this is pretty much it, guys, from our World of Warcraft guide in 2024. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.